Fest. Fox 10 News at 9. Thanks for joining us for this special edition of Fox 10 News at 9 o'clock. In the news, a suspect is dead and a Phoenix police officer hurt after the suspect tried to take a police cruiser. Yeah, this all unfolded earlier today near 75th Avenue and Lower Buckeye Road. Police were called after two men refused to get off of a city bus. When an officer arrived, the men got off the bus. But Phoenix P police tell us one of those individuals, now identified as Adam Vespoli, jumped into the driver's seat of that police cruiser. The officer tried to stop him. We're told that that officer felt threatened and then shot him. Police say Vespoli drove off a crashed up patrol car into a tree down the road. So coming up at the top of our 10 o'clock news, we're going to have much more on this with Marissa Sabrak. She's going to be live with more details on this developing story. In other news, an argument between two drivers in Tempe turns violent and then deadly. Tempe police shut down streets near Kyrene Road and Guadalupe during rush hour yesterday as they pursued the suspect. Now, according to witnesses, the suspect had gotten out of his car during some kind of an argument with another driver. Witnesses say he then shot and killed the other driver. When officers got there, they say the man opened fire on an officer and then took off running. They say the suspect tried to, but failed to steal a car from a nearby parking lot. An officer followed the suspect in a vehicle until the suspect finally surrendered. Now, the names of the driver who was killed or the suspect involved have not yet been released. A man fighting for his life tonight after being critically injured after a bad car crash in West Phoenix last night. Several cars involved in this collision. This was near 75th Avenue in Thomas. The injured man was rushed to a local hospital. We're told a second man, as well as a juvenile, were also taken to the hospital for minor injuries. It's unclear right now what led up to that crash. We're taking a look at some international headlines now. In the war in Ukraine, Russian forces widening their relentless assault on the country. Shelling continues on the port city of Mariupol, and in some cities, air raid sirens going off every few hours. There's a cancer hospital in southern Ukraine that was damaged in shelling. And according to the health department officials, Putin's forces are outside of Kiev, and they're fanning out into nearby forests and towns. That's a sign they could be preparing to surround the capital city. And the humanitarian crisis in that country is growing. The war has forced 2.5 million refugees to flee the country. Some 1.5 million of those have escaped to neighboring Poland. Coming up, a Valley Coffee Company fed up with supply chain issues. How the owner headed to Mexico in search of his own beans.